have an outlet here and cable here. The TV is mounted there. So what we're doing is we're moving the cable from there to up there, and then we're gonna leave that outlet there. But what we're doing is we're adding an outlet up there. So as you can see, I have my snake through the wall. I'm gonna connect the wire to this side, pull it down into this box and tie it into that outlet. All right, so I ran the wire down from next to the mount. So the first thing you do is you connect the two grounds together. So you just kind of loosely tighten it like that. And really tighten it. And then you cut off the excess. And then this is a ground nut, so you slide it through. Tuck it in the back of the box. Take your wire strippers. Do a little loop. And again, in the other video, I showed you how to, you always do the loop the way you're screwing it on. And then you cut off the excess of the wire. This is 14-2, so you go to 14 on your wire cutters. 14, create a little loop. And then obviously white and black. these tabs that flip up so all you do is you cut a hole slide this in tighten the screws and those tabs flip and you can essentially put an outlet anywhere old, or this is called an old work box new work boxes are before the drywall and there's nails that go into a stud so when you go to Home Depot get an old work box and all you do is you thread the wire through here to the gold or brass screw and white goes to the silver screw ground always goes to the green screw now when you're only putting one wire these screws really doesn't matter if they're in or out I just personally like putting them in um, it really doesn't make a difference all right so it's not a necessity but it's something that I like to do I call these ears so whenever you're using an old work box you can see that these are here. When you're doing a new work box, this is flat. So to have this outlet sit flush, what I do is I just take my pliers and break off the ears of, of the outlet. And I'll show you in a second why we do that. So this is an outlet tester. So if you stick it in there, it kind of helps you manipulate the outlet. So you can make sure it's straight and it's not going to the left or going to the right or anything like that. Done 
setting this up. As you can see on my tester, both these lights are orange, which means it's wired up properly. Now we're gonna move over to the cable. So for the outlet, we use that blue box, which is called an old work box. Now for the cable, you don't need something that extensive. You can just get away with this. So it's the same concept, same flaps, but it just doesn't have a back to it. take this is a special stripper it has two blades in it so I'll show you what it does so the first blade as you can see the first blade cuts it all the way down to the wire the second one only cuts it to the jacket so then what you do is you fold all these wires back uh, the best you can And then this is the adapter. Push that on all the way. You, you can see on the inside, when it touches, you have good contact. So, and then you take your crimping tools. And now that is not going anywhere. Thread it on the back of your cable jack. cut out what we did above the TV. So you get a piece of like two by four, or a piece of wood of something, screw up above, screw below to hold the wood. Then you would put this in here, screw that, tape it, spackle it, sand it, and then paint over it. Now, since we have a smaller hole, I'm gonna show you a little trick um, that you don't need to put anything behind. So what you do is you kind of just line it up there. And then, And then what you do is you break this off. But you notice how I'm leaving the paper on the front. So now what you would do is you would take your spackle, spackle all around here, 